Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Michael here. So I've been having the RS for the last 10 days and uh, I'm having a really positive experience with the wheel so far. And uh, within the 10 days, basically, I've been just been riding it and charging it, riding it and charging it, uh, enjoying the charging the wheel using dual ports. I have uh, three of these chargers, one for the MSP and then two for the RS. One of them was for the MSP that I had to return to eWheels. I just forgot to return the charger with it back in June so now like when I'm charging it with using the dual ports I can see the difference in in charge times when it comes to the uh, MSP and the RS so within the 10 days that I've been having the wheel I've come to the conclusion that this charging port area basically the setup of it of the control panel of the of the RS is the is the weakest link in the whole RS setup as a wheel uh, there's no perfect wheel. Every wheel has its own imperfections. I think this is the perfections of the RS. And uh, I'm, I have the MSP to, to put a part of the comparison and kind of explain why I came to that conclusion. So without further ado, my dudes, we're going to dive into it. So uh, we're going to start with the MSP to kind of lay a uh, baseline for the comparison and basically the explanation. So if you look at the control panel on the MSP, you have the the power but the charging port the USB port and the power button and so we're gonna start with the power button if you look at it the way it is it's not flat it's has it's kind of like curved a little bit and uh, so when you're when you're riding the wheel in, in a rainy uh, condition what is not gonna sit on top of it so basically it's gonna drain out it's gonna drain onto the, the this panel over here and again, under the same rainy condition, the charging port, the charging port and the USB port, they are all protected. Because if you can look at them, it's not recessed into the shell. Rather, it's it's taken out of the shell. And uh, the same thing with the with the charging port. If you look at it, it's taken out of the shell. So there is no way for if if you uh, cover both of them. There is no way for water to go into it because, well, for it to happen, what water has to go like underneath it and up into which like, water is not gonna do that. So, and that's the first thing. So when it, when when you driving the wheel in a rainy condition, you don't have to worry about anything. I've I've ridden it in in rainy situations like a whole bunch of times, and all I do is just come back and wipe the wheel and everything. Everything works. Now the second thing when charging the wheel. You just open it and put the charger into it like so and then just uh, thread it so once it's threaded like that the charger is not gonna move it's not gonna go anywhere the, I always take the MSP with me to work uh, I drive a truck so the MSP is always in the truck and I keep I charge it like this and it has worked so far and again so when you're charging the the MSP it has nothing to do with the USB port unless you want to use it. So you, you like open it and use it. But all these three buttons, they're independent of each other. And that's going to be a very important point when you go to the RS. So this is, this is how uh, the MSP has been set up. Most of the other gateways, the MSXs I've seen, they've been set up like this. And... Uh, the MSP has been set up like this, but the RS has a little bit of change, which I understand, but again, I just think they needed to take a little bit more time and just do it right the first time. So we're gonna go into the RS and I'll explain why um, the, the, the charging port, the, ch the charging setup, it doesn't make sense on the RS. So this is, this is the, the control panel on the uh, Gateway RS with the uh, dual charging ports and uh, the USB port, the USB port and the power button. So to charge it, the first thing you're gonna do is just open this flap over here. And oh, I hope you can see that. And as soon as you remove, you move that out of the way, you see you have the dual charging ports and the USB port over here. And the thing is, uh, 
compared to the MSP, the charging ports on the RS, they are recessed into the shell. Also, the USB port is, has been recessed into the shell. And when charging it or using the USB port, you expose the other port. Uh, you, ex you expose the other port that you're not using. So, for instance, when you're charging it, the USB port is exposed, or you're using the USB port to charge your phone, whatever. You have two of these uh, charging ports expo exposed. So, you're going to hook up a charger to it. So, these are regular Gateway charger, like a five pin charger. And it has this, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's off my head right now, but you use it to to thread it and secure the charger onto the wheel like, like, the, like the way you do it on the MSP. So on the RS, all you do is you just stick it into the, the two charging ports like this. So you just put it like that, and then there is no way to thread it. You can't thread it and, and lock it in. So there is no way to like thread it and lock it in. And so that's why I'm not going to be taking this to work because I don't know how this is going to work out. And the worst thing is this flap is being held into the shell. It's not like being tightly held into the shell. It has a plate to it. So there is this threading, there is this uh, rubber thing over here. This one here that goes into the shell. And I think that the end of it has a little knob so that it doesn't come out. And these are the two extensions that go to the charging ports. So for all this to work out, it means that this rubber this tiny little rub over here, it has to work perfectly all the time, you know? So you, when, if, you, if you crash the wheel or if something happens and this rubber gets uh, damaged or it gets cut, or, or just even if you take care of it, man, over time, these things wear out. So you're gonna have three ports exposed in comparison to the MSP where every port is independent of each other. and. The other thing, and now this is this is it. You see the way the power button is located. To separate the power but the power button from the other two controls, when you lock it in, they put this wall thing over here. So if it's raining, the idea was, I think the idea was to to uh, separate this part where we have these two ports from uh, the elements, right? maybe rain, water, stuff like that. And to do that successfully, they made this compart this wall over here that creates that uh, separation between the two. And, and that's kind of a problem because it works from the look of it. But it puts the power button in its own compartment. So the power button, in comparison to the MSP now, if it's raining, and you're, you're, you're riding in the rain, water is going to collect in this compartment. And I mean, it, it, it's going to depend on uh, how long you're in the rain and how heavy the downpour is, but water is going to collect in this compartment. I'm going to do a little experiment on both the MSP and the RS and show you guys what I mean by that. So I'm going to spray water on the MSP to just simulate riding in the rain, and then you see how... Uh, water it doesn't affect the control panel on the MSP. See the way water just drains out of it? It doesn't it doesn't affect it. Not at all. And when you're when you're riding in the rain, you know, wind is also messing with is it's also removing the water and the vibration of the wheel when it's in contact with the road. So on the MSP man it's not a problem. I've done it. Now let's dive into the RS. So same situation as the uh, MSP. We're just gonna spray water on it. And if you look at it, water is start to collect in this on the shell, on the compartment over here. 
because it doesn't have a way to drain out of it. So, and how long you ride in the rain and how heavy the downpour is, you might get yourself to a point where it's full of water and then, then what happens? You know, I can't, I can't conclude for you guys, but this is just data. You make your own conclusions. But, uh, yeah, so with all those, all those uh, facts considered, to me, uh, this is the, the biggest design flaw of this wheel, at least the control panel, this, this whole place. Uh, okay, guys, so that does it for this video. Uh, if you are expecting a perfect wheel, uh, hopefully I put enough foam on the runway for you because that's what you're going to be getting. But again, I'm having a really positive experience with the wheel. I like it. I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting more videos on it. There are tons of things that um, are different between these two wheels. And it's just amazing to, to, to ride an MSP and then come and ride an RS and feel the difference. I know people want to know about torque and the torque difference between the uh, high-speed MSP and the high-speed uh, RS. And let me just, I can put it this way. It's torquey. You can, you can tell the difference in acceleration, going up a hill, and all the good stuff. I'm going to make another video on that. But again, hopefully someone learned, hopefully, uh, someone learned a thing or two about what I did today. And uh, yeah, think about subscribing, the liking, the whole YouTube stuff. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.